Hey, it's Central Valley Business. I'm your host, Steve Walling. My guest for this segment is Pastor Todd Harris. And he did something that he doesn't know that he did this, but I have never, in all the time I've been doing these shows, done a PSA. But he handed me one and asked me to do it. So I'm going to give this a shot. Bear with me. There's a lot of good stuff in this. So it says, the subject line, Recovery Family Run, Uniting Walkers, Runners, and Community members to fight addiction and raise vital funds to help those who are still struggling. I think that's a pretty good thing. That's not in there, but I think it's a pretty good thing. Okay. So this says here under voice, so I assume that's me. It says, coming Saturday morning, February 1st at Woodward Park, join Total Life Change for the third, an third annual recovery family run, a 5K and a two-mile walk, and a run to benefit families fighting addiction. And I'd hazard a guess there's probably not a person watching this show that d doesn't have a connection at some, in some way in their life with addiction. So this is important. This is, so there will be vendors. That's always good. We're going to have good food. Awards for those participating. You know, you give a little, you get a little. Um, and the Kiwanis will serve pancake. Okay, here we go. Now he's got me hooked. Kiwanis are going to serve a pancake breakfast. He says the event starts at 8 a.m. Run today. Bring hope for tomorrow. Register at recovery, therecoveryrun.com, therecoveryrun.com. And you can contact Nancy Avera at 559-905-8504. So, you know, that's a lot of good stuff here, total life change. It's TLC is a 501c3 organization that helps families and addicts through life's challenges. We are dedicated to effectively serving men, women, and families dealing with all kinds of addictions, including gambling, anger, and relationship, along with substance abuse. And that just is the tip of the iceberg. There's many other kinds. If you've got you know, some kind of an addiction going or someone in your family, just because it doesn't go, go under the, the hubris of AA or NA, you know, you got to deal with it. And so he says, uh, TLC, that's the... The Total Life Change provides services to help individuals, churches, and businesses to navigate life challenges. To learn more, visit us online. So there you go. That's it. We're done. Thanks for being with No. <laughs> Pastor, welcome back to the show. Good see right. you, Steve. I, ho I hope I did justice to that um, because I believe it's important. And like I said, I don't know in all the time that I, and I've been around a little bit, um, you know, I don't know anybody in my life anymore that's not touched by addiction right you know and uh back in the day and you're almost old enough to know what back in the day was or is you know addiction was over there in that corner nobody looked at it nobody talked about it and it wasn't a part of most people's lives right and uh let's just say it's kind of come out of the closet that's right that's right and so it's here so right. it's here and you're here that's right so why are you here you know what this run for families in recovery has been a passion of mine. My late father, uh, Jim Harris, it is running in honor of him, too. Uh, he ended up passing away with uh, leukemia. But the big picture is he knew that recovery meant for the whole family. Because I myself struggled with that early mm -hmm. on in life. And uh, he watched me walk through yeah. and walk out of recovery. But it affected him. So recovery affects the whole family. It does. You know, and what happens is, is that we lose sight of the fact that we need to support this great walk this particular February 1st in honor of that. So we can do more work to help the whole family recover. So sign up at therecoveryrun.com. It's a two mile, five mile walk, run, crawl, ride, however you get out there. Maybe you just want to support it and come for the, for the breakfast that Kiwanis is going to put on. There's going to be recovery ministries out there across this valley. There's so many ministries and also institutions that help people walk through just this devastating uh, disease of recovery. And so with that, you come out and you're going to see all kinds of tables out there with people that have these particular uh, outfits that help recover uh, from this addiction. The other piece is this, is that when you look at what recovery's done across this United States, this is something that's become epidemic. And with that, here's what we believe. We believe if we can help the family recover, then the addicted doesn't have that, that inclination to go out there and use because if the family's healthy, the addicted has to look at themselves. 
You know, Todd, that's <laughs> there's a lot of wisdom in what you just shared. Um, be, you know, families, to, to deal with addiction, you need a toolbox with tools in it, you know. And most families don't have that toolbox to begin with. And even if they've got a toolbox, the tools that are in it are usually rather limited. Mm-hmm. Um, and they cannot help not only the, the family members that are not in the addiction itself, right. but they can't help the individual that is because they don't understand it. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I can say that having participated in that process myself, that, you know, what, what oftentimes we are as family members psycho-emotionally uh, wanting to do is exactly the thing that we shouldn't do. Correct. And so we need support, too. Family needs support, Mm -hmm. you know. And you bring that support to the family, then the family can support the addicted individual. That's right. right. So walk to acknowledge that it impacts the entire family. Run to shatter the stigma of surrounding addiction. Walk to encourage people that recovery is possible for everyone. Walk to honor someone who has lost the battle in recovery. February 1st, sign up at therecoveryrun.com, therecoveryrun.com. Bring hope for a brighter tomorrow. Runners that sign up, they're going to get these. They're going to get a T-shirt, a beanie, a timing chip, a bib, a Kiwanis breakfast, and you're going to get to see a lot of local vendors that have the same passion in mind help people walk free from this insidious addiction of recovery. Yeah. No, it's in... You know, it, it's in so many different ways and so many. It's not just the pill or the the powder, you know. there There's so many things we get. One that you don't have here is uh, a, an addiction to tech. You know, Boy, and, you got that right. And that's become, you know, with our, our younger people, getting through the day without having to, to do that, participate. You know, tech provides a lot of good to the world, no doubt about it. So does pharmacology. But... You take the dark side of both of those things, they, they do a lot of damage. That's right. Um, and families need to know what to look for, too. Mm-hmm. You know, if you happen to be out there and you say, well, you know, I'm not sure if uh, someone in my family that I think might be, you know what, show up for the run. Because there's, there's going to be people there that can share information with you and, and get you on a path of recovery for yourself. Mm-hmm. Because you also need recovery. Mm-hmm. So. You know, walk to celebrate your own recovery. Yeah. We're all recovering from something. Well, I'm not, but yeah, everybody yeah. else is, yeah, that's right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> One other side note is we just had a, a community member uh, go be with the Lord. His name was Ken Takeuchi, and we're going to honor him at the race. He's a longtime runner in the Valley. He had the Runner of the Year series, and uh, 92 years old, Ken... Uh, Decided to, that he uh, went to be with the Lord, and now we're going to honor him at this race. So if you know Ken, uh, you can come out the race and uh, just come and run in honor of the late Ken Takushi that uh, did so much for this great valley in supporting runners and supporting this race mm-hmm. as Run for Families in Recovery. So this is the third annual. Third annual. So, yeah, man, we're moving down the road. How was it? How did it go last year? You know, we had a we had a really good turnout. As a matter of fact, there was over 200 runners that showed up, and uh, we run rain, shine. It doesn't matter what the weather is. We're going to get out there and run. We had a little bit of adverse with the rain last year. We're praying that rain doesn't come this year. But through all that, people were warmed in heart, strengthened in spirit. And at the end of that race, we had people picking up medals and picking up different uh, – um, bling that uh, they enjoyed saying, hey, they signified they ran for Families in Recovery. And we hope you can come out this year. Run for Families in Recovery. Sign up at therecoveryrun.com. Sign up at therecoveryrun.com. Okay, Tim, or Todd. Yeah, Todd. Um, one last thing. I like what you brought. This is great, but it's only one day. What if I want to get a hold of you at, at some other time. How do, I, how do I do that? Total Life Change is an organization that helps families and addicts through the challenges of life. We are dedicated to effectively serving men and women 
families dealing with all kinds of addictions, including gambling, anger, relationships, along with substance. Maybe you just have a hurt habit or hang-up you want to just address. Call the office at 475-9779 or look us up at TLC777.com. That was TLC777.com. We're going to meet you where you're at. If we can't help you in our center, we'll navigate you to the right place. I am committed to meet people where they're at. Safe place for you to come and walk through life's challenges. There you go. Todd, thanks for being with us. Steve, pleasure. You uh, keep up the good work, son. Thanks, brother. <laughs> All right. Talk to you later. I'll see you when we come back.